just wanted to make sure that everybody's where they need to be with their shells. Um, those of you coaching and you have your shells, I will have to put students in them individually. I can't do that until probably ooh, drop ad, which is later this week. So tomorrow's the first day of class. Um, they won't all be registered and show up until probably Wednesday. I think drop ad is like Friday because it's just like three days in the summer. And as soon as drop ad happens, and it's not me, it's them, as soon as it happens, they will release students at that time, and then I will manually put them in your shells for those of you who are getting new ones, like in 603 this summer. Now, I think John and Robin will keep theirs, and what, Danny's go to Jamal, is that the way it works? I believe that's right. Yeah. But everybody else will keep theirs, so Jamal, I'm glad you're with us. I won't be able to do that to drop ad because that's a manual thing through Blackboard, and they're not there for me to move them right now, but they'll be there later this week. And as soon as they're there, I'll physically move them. It doesn't take me long, but I'll move Danny's to you uh, so that you will have them and John and Robin. So I've got this set up where we keep our own shells, called our clinical shells. Now, if you get a 697, 98, or 99 shell, uh, we don't use those. Um, because they're not set up to communicate back and forth with students. We have a clinical shell. That way you can keep the same students. You keep the same work. It's all there. So I will, I will work on your clinical shell as soon as that becomes available. I checked today and it wasn't. So I will do that. Check your shells. Everybody check your shells and make sure they're working. You know, when we do a course copy, especially they're, they're just fragmented. Sometimes Danny and I, found a bunch of things and the ones that I copied over the weekend I copied some this morning for uh, Malia from Karen and it didn't take all of that I had to go in and, and clean it up one thing that I do want to show you tonight check your assignment drop boxes to make sure they're working um, that's that's the first thing a lot of times they don't trans they, they don't copy over so make sure your assignment drop boxes are there um, and that make sure your discussion board that you can can get it now if, if for some reason you don't see discussion board and you know that you've had a course copy what you can do is come up here to the top left that little plus sign and go to tool link and type in discussion board and then find discussion board be sure to spell it right and click on that and and when it populates it'll bring that one that was copied to your shell that you don't see now it'll bring it over so again if you've got discussion board you're fine and it's populated if you know you've had a course copy and it ought to be there and you don't see it that's how you activate it. again go up here go up here in your little utilities box that little plus go to tool link Type in discussion board and then select discussion board. Click submit and when it pops up and you click on it, it'll be populated. That's a little trick uh, for those of you who, whose course copy didn't work on your discussion board. I had to do that to mine and Danny's and also Phyllis and Barbara's. Um, check your assignment drop boxes. Oh, and the other thing is on your turn it in checks. Uh, you should all go into your turn it in check right here at the end, you know, hover at the end and go to edit and make sure your date range falls outside of the summer semester. If it doesn't, you're going to have problems. I've already moved all mine to December 14th. These two boxes right here, the due date and the post date, leave the start date alone. That'll be today's date, but make sure these two dates, Put 100 points on them. Make sure these two dates, uh, try to make them December the 14th, and then submit, and you should be fine. But if those dates don't match, or if those dates 
are not far enough in the future that beyond when this semester ends on, April, on August the 3rd, students will not be able, they'll get error messages. Uh, for some reason, when we do a course copy, many times that date gets scrambled. I don't know why, but it just does. There's Rob. There's folks. So check those. Uh, check all your Zoom sessions, especially uh, if you've got links. I did not put mine in the sessions because that sometimes causes a problem. I prefer to put my links on the Word document, the weekly schedule. It doesn't seem to scramble near as badly as when I put it in just over here in the session. We've had some problems with, the, with that happening. Uh, see, I put mine on my Word document, my links, and that, and they, and you turn, you don't turn the editing on, and they'll stay the same. See, if you don't enable the edit, they can't, they won't change. For whatever reason, every time I upload them as an item, over in, um, over here under my sessions, every time I go back, they're scrambled. Um, I, again. Shouldn't be that way, but it is. So check your Zoom links. Check David, your uh, When you have that weekly schedule up there, yeah. how did you already have your Zoom links? I scheduled them through Zoom. I'm going to show you that next. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you all should have a pro account. I think that's everything I had. And thank you, Phyllis. You're right on time. Um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. You're, you're right on time. That's what I wanted to show. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to type in Zoom, www.zoom. Um, See, I always it, have to go in and get a number and then yeah. teal and then email it to them. All right. If you have a pro account, if you don't, let me know and I'll, I'll pay for it myself. It's not for $15. They act like it's all the money there is. Um, <laughs> when you have a pro account, and you're signed in, you come to my account. I'm sure you can see that on the screen. Come to my account and just go to meetings over here on the left and schedule a new meeting. And that's it. And when you schedule a new meeting, you just give it a name, pick the time and the link that you want. Um, if it's a recurring meeting, you can make one link for every week. Just tell it the date range, and it'll, it'll schedule them for every week. Um, make sure, don't require registration. Make sure that you turn your video on for everybody, host and participant, both on the audio. Don't require a password. Enable join before host so they can log in before you do. Uh, use your personal meeting ID. It'll be the same one every time. Record the meeting automatically. and All us old folks that forget to record, it's done automatically for us. And you set that up, you can make an alternative host, your coach, always make your, your coach alternative host in case something goes wrong, they've got it. That way at email, you can send it to them and then save it and you're golden. And it will generate you a, a meeting and then you can click over, he'll be over here and it'll, that, that announcement, that you can copy and paste, it'll pop right up. And then you can schedule just like me. Um, I'm gonna cancel that. As you can see, I've got every one of mine, uh, all my classes, uh, I've even got my town hall already scheduled, my 603 classes, my EDCI classes. I've already got all of mine and I've already posted. Now what I'll do is, is I'll come in here tomorrow and I'll click on this and it will give me the option. Here's my announcement again. And I can just copy and paste that and send it back out. See, copy the invitation right here. I can, and then I'll send that out as a reminder tomorrow for my EDCI class. Um, and, you know, it's and they've already and I've already sent it out one time and it's on the weekly schedule. So and then I'll send them a reminder five minutes before class starts. And if they can't make it, then you know it's operator error on their end. Um, so, but yeah, I, I schedule all of mine up front. 
Uh, I didn't initially philosophize like you for years. I just sent mine at the time, and then I started having problems with that, and it it wouldn't come, it wouldn't go through. The email was blocking it. Um, some of the students' email was blocking those. Uh, these tend to work better, but but this 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 is a different process than it used to be. Used to had those little four symbols. And you had to go to four different places to schedule a meeting. I don't know if y'all remember the original graphics that were on this. And, and it was like a little clover leaf of four places. And you, you had to go to all four clockwise to get a meeting schedule. I mean, it, it was easier to, fit, to, to solve a Rubik's Cube than it was to figure out how to schedule a meeting on this. Now, this is, this is really easy. Dale, if you do the reoccurring meeting, is there a problem with how it's identified when it goes to YouTube, when you copy it, when you do it there? No, the recording will be the same. Okay. Now, the only thing about, one of the things that I'm noticing now is doing, re, doing reoccurring meeting or doing planning them up front. After I get through recording, there's a period of time that that thing processes on my computer before, I mean, after it's already processed on the screen, a little bar goes across and it's now available and I save it in my Zoom folder on that day. And then when I go to file manager and change the name on it to whatever it was that day, I notice that there's now, let me see if I can, I notice in file manager now there's a little symbol you go to some of these Zoom folders. There'll be a little symbol out here. Um, and and it until that until that it's like it's still working. Let me go back to this. No, I don't want on that, don't do that. Yeah, there'll be a there'll be a little symbol right here under this. And until you get a check mark there, uh, it really won't upload to YouTube. And so sometimes I have to wait until it gives me that little check mark. Um, okay. But before, so that that's kind of what you're talking about is is um, it the recurring meetings and the planned meetings up front. There is a second process they have to go through. You're exactly right. But it's usually about 10 minutes is all before you can upload them. And when you pop up, you'll see it. You'll see a little symbol there. You will see a little symbol there um, out beside where you rename it. And once that symbol, once you get a check mark from the working symbol, once it goes from working to the little check mark symbol, you can then upload it. So there is a secondary processing phase for planned and recurring meetings that is correct but it's only it's like five minutes for every 30 minutes you were on the air so if you were on the air for an hour it's about 10 minutes but yes just make sure that once you rename it you wait a few minutes until you get a check mark a little round circle on your screen there next to the name with a check in it and then you're golden but that's a great question, but you are exactly right. There is a secondary process that has to happen, but it happens on your computer in file manager and <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. it. It will give you, you know, after, after you sit there all night, it finally loads, goes through all that. Then it'll give you that tongue stuck out, you know, sorry, it didn't work. So, <clears throat> but yeah, that's how you schedule recurring meetings. And you can, or you can schedule them one at a time. You can schedule a block of them at one time. I scheduled all of mine for this summer and then went back and deleted the one on the week that we're off. <laughs> so I just did all, I did all 10 of them at one time, took the one off that we're not meeting and off we went. Or 11, I did 11 at one time. Dale, my version looks a good bit different from yours. Could I just delete my Zoom and then download another? Because there must have been an update or something that I didn't. Yeah, you ought to be. You ought to be able to. 
but you I, need, I don't know if you've got a pro copy or not. Well, I'd have to because it doesn't cut me off after. I mean, well, I go over go. an hour. Forty-nine minutes. Is, at thirty-nine minutes, if you don't have a Zoom, it will cut you off. Yeah, I'm sure I have a pro account, but it yeah. just looks different from yours. And I couldn't find that button that you start the recording automatically. Yeah. Yeah. See right here, recorded meeting all on the yeah. local number. Yeah, local mine computer. looks different too. Well, mine's very original. That first PD. Yeah, that, that, that <laughs> one had that clover leaf deal on it. With yeah. The oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Can't do that. Well, if um, we just, uh, if we delete what we have and go in here like this, uh, will it just automatically give us our pro account if we sign in with our name? It should. Or you can, or you can from that one what you can do before you delete it um you can sign in again you can sign out and sign back in and see if they'll give you the option to update oh yeah and then once you do that if it won't let you update then i would i would delete and start again and we'll get uh we'll get uh we can get somebody to help us if we have to um download up on android investors how to our team was in Zoom blog career support account they do have account support right here um you know okay oh that's good to know D.D. Ledbetter is now in charge. I did not know that. Okay. And Emily is the support information. All right. And so we could get, we'll get Didi to help us if nothing else. Uh, but yes, you should be able to do that. All right. Moving along, let me get out of that one. I think that's pretty much it. Um, we should be ready to roll tomorrow. As I said, I'm, I'm our add-on licensure. The the doctoral group for add-on starts tomorrow at six. The regular add-on starts Wednesday at seven. Many of you have sent me links. I think we have all the students registered. We actually registered one that finished. I guess we just got in a hurry at the end. We got, got in a rhythm. And so we just, we signed up Orlando. We signed him up for 10 years in a row. I guess we just, that's just part of the process now. So, um, but he got through, Orlando got through. We fleeced him on the way out the door. We skinned him from head to toe on the way out the door. He didn't want him to have any milk money. Take to school now. <laughs> they got free with him. And then after all of that, they got his back money. They got his money for this semester, past semester. They got late fees. They got graduation fees. Then they had me call him and made him pay another $180 on top of that. And then KTA on the way out the door claimed he hadn't had uh, continuous enrollment. And they made him pay a $40 fee to readmit so he could graduate. <laughs> oh, I felt so bad for Orlando. He got out, praise the Lord. Uh, I'm so happy for him and his family because he, you know, I mean, as far as Gardner Webb's part, he, he gets to keep his job now. The rest of it's up to him, but he's not going to lose his job over not having completed this program. So we've done our responsibility. I feel good about that. That's 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 more about who we are than who he is. That we we should do what we're supposed to do, regardless of what they do. And that's kind of the benediction for tonight. I see my time is up. The benediction tonight is, is I always remember, I forget who told me. Um, it might have been Frank Wall. I saw Frank recently. Frank and I worked together at Ellenborough back in the 80s. And I think it was Frank who told me that kids that need love the most deserve it the least. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. I remembered that. That's one of the few things I've remembered. Everything else I have to write down. But I've remembered that one. And I guess that's kind of where we are 
this summer we have a lot of students who are incomplete. We have students who are having to take, do audits um, because they haven't done everything that they need to do. But let's make sure that we treat them the way that, that we would want to be treated, regard, irregardless of that. I mean, um, their mama sent the best ones they had. I mean, they're ours. <laughs> let's, let's work with them. And I know sometimes they're aggravating. I had one send me an email a while ago, and she just – She'd wear the horns off a of billy goat, but that, and she texted me and then emailed me before I could answer the text. <laughs> and she does that quite regularly. Uh, just in case I didn't catch you coming one way, let me kick both of your kids today. Um, but, you know, let's do the right thing because it's the right thing. And that's <laughs> All right. Anybody have anything else for the good of the group? Yeah, Dale, real quick, did everybody get the email about uh, Dr. Bull losing his brother? Yes, I uh, thank you. We did a we did a uh, memorial fund for his flowers. If y'all want me to contribute, I'll I'll take them some money tomorrow. I took some for us today. I think I took enough for our group. But if you have something special you want to do, let me know. But uh, I took money for the males group today, so I think we're I think we're good. Um, and so. Uh, I also made a contribution to the Dean's Fund uh, on, for, the, for our mills group for people, for students who like Orlando who might come up short a few dollars uh, to help them. I've made a donation in the name of Mills for, for that as well. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's only for students. If, you know, if, if they get like Orlando the other day had to come up with an additional $40 beyond what he could afford. I mean, things like that. And so, Dr. Bull has established a fund for that, and I have, have given a mail donation for that. Uh, so if you have any spare money you'd like to give for a student, and we're not talking about hundreds of dollars or anything, but if you have any money you'd like to give, he has mailed out that form. Uh, if you don't have one, contact me. Uh, this is a, I mean, this is a small thing kind of thing, but, you know, just a few dollars here or there, flowers like when Latoya passed. Things like that, kind of a bereavement and, and just a little uh, food and butter fun. Um, we've got one of those. And so we're, we're all good right now, though. I've taken care of us for the time being, so we're all good. But thank you for reminding me of that, Steve. Prayers for Dr. Bull losing his brother. All righty. Dr. Okay. Dr. Sanders and Dr. Stone, make sure you send me your links tomorrow, and I will – I will zoom in and just speak to your students and then uh, we'll communicate with any, any, any other things after that. But I'll speak to the students, just let them know that I am available tomorrow. Okay. Um, we're, we're having the town hall next Monday in lieu of the faculty meeting. Uh, please try to join us. All the information you need for the faculty meeting will be in the town hall at six next Monday. So I'll see you all next Monday at six. Everybody have a good week. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night.